I'm somebody who hasn't posted in weeks starts saying they're going to be posting three times a day. This is really how you're going to get back into posting content and being consistent on social media. Look, so I really do get it. If you haven't been posting for a while, getting back in the game on social media is pretty damn intimidating and exhausting. You make content and you are consistent making content. You get in the flow with things and you become more creative and efficient at creating content. The more you practice your craft every day, ideas just bounce to you. You absorb inspiration from other people on your feeds and you get into a really solid routine and build some sustainable habits. Just like when you go into the gym, when you start to eat better, the more you do it, the more you get used to it, the easier it becomes, easier it is to do. And if you stop doing these things and you go off the ball, off the wagon, fall off the wagon, whatever it's called, you know what I mean, don't you? You know what I mean. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like. I can't even, I can't even talk, man. It's because I'm not being consistent enough. Hit the like button, if you know what I mean. If you're not used to doing it for a while, it's a lot harder to get back into the swing of things. Now, you may think the best strategy to do is go out all guns blazing. Like some 30 day challenge on TikTok or Instagram. I'm going to smash this. I'm going to go all out. I'm going to post three to four times a day. I'm going to do this for 30 days. Watch me grow and go viral. Now, one of the main problems with this strategy is number one, it's exhausting. It's not sustainable, which means you'll get content creation burnout or there'll be a very high chance of getting content creation burnout. Plus, you'll end up hating creating content by the end of it. So what was the point of doing it in the first place if you don't enjoy it or you won't enjoy it? And I can tell you something. I've had content creation burnout before and once you get into it, all right, it's very hard to call back out of it which is why it's necessary to take breaks and have downtime you time have times where you sort of digital detox on the weekend switch off social media so you can rejuvenate and recharge your batteries because i'm going to be really honest with you social media is exhausting it really is exhausting and if you want to succeed you got to be in the game and you got to have your a game and you got to be consistent and you got to be persistent and you got to adapt and you got to evolve all the time because unlike other things, all right, which are quite predictable, social media changes rapidly all the time. It's one of the reasons why I like it, because I like the challenge, to be fair. But it's uh, like trying to catch a wave. It's different all the time. You can't just do one thing, which worked last week, last month. It's always changing. You always got to hop on a new wave and, you know, be strong, be ahead of the game. So my first tip and my first strategy is instead of posting three times a day, when you get back into things, aim for a regular, consistent posting schedule, which is very achievable to get you back into things. And this will allow you to build up the habit. Be once a week, this could be twice a week. It could be three times max a week. But do this for a week or two or three weeks and then slowly crank things up and build it up gradually. It normally takes about 12 weeks for a routine to become a habit and you are your habits so with this posting schedule by doing it and easing back into things you're more likely to stick with it and you're going to stick with it you're going to be consistent you be consistent you get results you become more creative again you get the back in the game you get more ideas if you go flat out you know this is going to put you off on so many levels and it will affect your energy and creativity levels as well now when you're creating your content i want you to focus on creating high valuable policy content and what I mean by this, it doesn't mean you have to be flash editing because most people are sick to death of fancy edits, if I'm honest, and people just want more authentic content. But what I'm talking about is creating content that gives value to someone in some way and is valuable to the person watching it. Content that resonates with your ideal audience. And remember, we're not trying to attract any audience. We're trying to attract the right audience, especially if you want to get paid it just has to be what your audience is looking for so i recommend you to use the search bar filter on your social media platform of your choice like tiktok and see what are the best topics or best subjects what topics and subjects are popular in your niche and filter them for the most popular if you want if you want to really raise your game do the most recent because these are currently starting to trend and you can hop on it take advantage add your own spin add more value add more entertainment 
And don't forget, value doesn't have to be a tip. It could be entertaining. It can be inspiring. Be helping someone feel like they're in a better position than they were before they consumed your content. A lot of people, very hard to post original content. If somebody's posted something, they've probably got it from someone else. So the idea is you find the best topics or the trending topics and you add your own spin to them to make them yours. Once you have edited your content, created it and posted it, once you've pressed the upload button, don't just post and go and leave it. Interact with your followers, like replying to their comments and messages, especially in the first six hours to get your piece of content a nice boost and help build momentum and one sneaky trick you could do is before you create or post your piece of content is warm up the algorithm a bit interact with people random people on the platform saying finish perfectly by commenting or liking their post right let the algorithm let the platform know that you're on the platform then once you have posted your content you can like previous comments that people have given on your post they will get a notification they will check out your new piece of content plus the other people who you have interacted with as well because there'll be a high chance because you've interacted with them or interacted with their post they're going to see your new post popping up on their feed i also want you to pay attention to your analytics do this every three weeks four weeks be more realistic give a bit of time to see what's working for your account and then repeat those subjects themes styles because that is what's really resonating with the platform and your current audience right now. Now you can check them every week if you want, but it's not really giving you enough time to get enough data, if I'm honest. This is why it's also extremely important if you have a viral video, the next video or videos you do after are very similar and very related to that video which went viral because the platform, TikTok platform, has got all this really good metadata and data about your video and the exact audience to push your next piece of content to. When you have an idea what people are like, what type of content you do does best, the length, the style, the hook, the way you speak, your delivery, your editing, even the background, something as simple as the background, the lighting. Adjust your strategy on what actually works and serves you well. I don't even recommend using the same hashtags, even though hashtags are not that important on TikTok anymore, because of the SEO and the keywords. Hashtags have worked for you on that video. It went viral. Use them again. Use it again because it will help rank up. I also recommend you to start implementing storytelling more in your content. People connect with stories. This can make your content and you more relatable. And when I'm talking about creating stories or telling stories, I don't mean you say something like, once upon a time, blah, blah, blah. What I'm talking about is just talking to the camera like I'm talking to you right now. More authentic, more real and this is also called the FaceTime effect and you can even do it just walking to school, walking to the gym, walking to college, on your way to work, sitting down, having a cup of tea, cup of coffee, cup of, cup of tea, cup of coffee, just talking naturally, it draws people in, creates connection and makes you more likable instead of like a super flashy marketing production. Because when people connect with you more, it's a relationship, builds a relationship, then they're going to come back for more of your content. And if you are trying to monetize or you're trying to sell product services, then this is going to help build connections more and trust. You have to remember people buy from humans, all right, and people buy from you. So I really recommend you hopping on to long form content now, especially as TikTok are not only in the past, they were hinting about one minute plus videos, but now TikTok are recommending you to do landscape mode and they are now launching 30 minute videos because they're trying to compete with YouTube and I can, I can assure you at some point there'll be adverts on these posts but people will get notifications on TikTok that if you're doing these long form videos over a minute TikTok are even saying suggesting they're going to help boost those videos for you so that's another tip right there whenever a platform recommends something or brings it to attention then start using it because you'll get an extra cheeky boost for doing that style of content. The best thing about long form content is you can chop it up, edit it and turn it into short form content for Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts and other social media platforms. Personally, I actually like doing long form content because I can take my time more and I've, this is going to be an unpopular opinion but I think shorter form content is a lot harder because you've got to get your information and the messaging and stop the scroll in such a 
short amount of time and people forget if you're doing a long form piece of content you only have to get the audience to watch 50 percent of that video shorter video like 15 20 seconds somebody's got to watch the whole thing for it to give it good signals to the algorithm and if you want to add a bit more content to your posting volume but you're just getting them back in the game and you, you don't know what to do you don't want to talk about them why don't you just take advantage of the cap cut memes and make them related to your niche or what you're thinking about very relatable very shareable that's an easy content idea there you can do duets a viral video of the same niche as you add more value and text on the screen don't just react to it you could do a ditch make it exciting and these sort of things you know really easy ways to create extra pieces of content you also got the photo carousels which are huge on tiktok at the moment and you could even just write down something a bit of value on your notepad on your iphone or your phone screenshot them put them on tiktok and just give some tips do something funny give something value give some entertainment the more slides you do the more information you give longer watch time on your video the more photo carousel the longer watch time the more your piece of content is going to do better and get pushed out to more people pushed out to more people more followers more growth more people checking out your other pieces of content you can also cross promote your content onto other social media platforms so just get your content reuse it or repurpose it so what i mean by repurpose it is all social media platforms of different communities different vibes different types of content do better and so on you can't just sort of post the same thing now if you've got like evergreen content or it's universal then you can repost the same thing and you'll probably do well so if it went viral on tiktok it probably went viral on instagram but if it's not those sort of content formats then just edit it slightly change it slightly like a video into a photo carousel if it's on instagram reuse the same stuff you've already done and put it onto the other social media platforms or just repost it and then you doing less work you're not thinking of brand new ideas and creating them you can also mention your new topics or new content on the other social media platforms if you're on instagram threads you could say hey have you seen my controversial post on tiktok go and check it out it creates curiosity people jump over from that platform onto the other platform of your choice most important thing is is just take your time and enjoy the process of creating content because i can tell you something if you are passionate about what you do and you enjoy it and you're obsessed about it, you will do well. If you think it's a chore and it's a drag, you're not going to do it in the long run. And it is all about the long run because he who she who lasts the longest in this game wins. And that's normally people who are very passionate and normally obsessed about what they do and what impact they want to make with the world or into the world. So remember, growing on social media really does take time. Be patient. Be persistent and please do not be discouraged by slow initial progress. Like this video if you found the tips provided and valuable. Subscribe for more content like this if you have not done already. And I will see you on the next one.